I'm able to tell you that all of the victims in this matter are members of the same family. The deceased include a 74-year-old female, a 46-year-old male, a 44-year-old female, and a 15-year-old female. One nine-year-old male, the sole survivor, remains in hospital with serious injuries not considered life-threatening. I'm also able to tell you at this time that based on information collected during the course of the investigation, we believe that this was an intentional act and that the victims of this horrific incident were targeted. We believe the victims were targeted because of their Islamic faith. We understand that this event may cause fear and anxiety in the community, and in particular, the Muslim community and any community targeted by hate. I want to reassure all Londoners that all of us on the call today and many others stand with you and support you. There is no tolerance in this community for individuals who motivated by hate target others with violence. A Canadian family in London, Ontario was killed in an anti-Muslim hate crime, according to police on Monday. Witnesses say suspected attacker, 20-year-old Nathaniel Veltman, struck five members of the family with his black pickup truck on Sunday and sped off. Local police chief Stephen Williams told reporters that the act was motivated by hate. That the victims of this horrific incident were targeted. We believe the victims were targeted because of their Islamic faith. The London Free Press reported that among those killed were a 15-year-old girl, both of her parents and her grandmother. Her nine-year-old brother is in the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Veltman was later arrested in a mall parking lot, wearing a body armor-type vest, according to police. He is due in court on Thursday to face four counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. Meanwhile, police are weighing filing terrorism charges against him. Sunday's killings are the worst attack against Canadian Muslims since the Quebec City mosque shooting in 2017. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau tweeted, Islamophobia has no place in any of our communities. This hate is insidious and despicable, and it must stop. London has a large Muslim community, and Arabic is the city's second most spoken language after English.